presence, Lord. Thank you for your presence in this place and what you're doing. Oh, we acknowledge you, Jesus. Heavy. 
Father, for sending your precious Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to the earth to bless us. Thank you, Father, also for the ministry of the Holy Ghost, who is working in us and through us, accomplishing your will and purpose in the earth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Just go ahead and bless the Lord like this. Hallelujah, let him get on you. Hallelujah, it's healing. Hallelujah. Thank Glory you, to God. God is good. sita. <laughs> Me ekomo eleka sando le basando soliki esana mahando bari tense ito bosundo haya asunde esin alaboni ni kola bansa mati tense ni kendondo hayoshi hayoshi halabose kanan sono sene I say unto you this day. My sons and my daughters, I am your refining fire. And once you have gone through the fire, you shall come forth as pure gold. So don't give up. Don't drop back. Just keep on moving forward, for I am your forerunner. And I say unto you this day, my precious children, be not disappointed. Hope does not disappoint, because my love is shared abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And I say unto you, do not be ashamed for anything, but with all boldness, Christ is magnified in your body. Yes, Christ, the anointed one, the anointed one, his anointing is magnified in your body to destroy yokes and remove burdens. So remember to cast all your burdens upon me for I care for you. Do not carry your burdens, do not carry your cares, Past, cast them upon me, for I care for you. I am your rod and your shield, and I give you grace and glory, and no good thing will I withhold from you, because you walk uprightly before me, and your righteousness is of me. You are righteous, so just trust me with your life. Come to me, call upon me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know if not. The Lord is good. And whom the Son has set free shall be free indeed. 
whom the Son has made free shall be free indeed. No bondage, no doubt. Walk in my goodness. Walk in my grace. I have called you out of darkness, not to return to darkness. I have liberated you, not to return to bondage. I have made you free. Therefore, walk in my goodness. Declare what I have said. Don't let the darkness of the day try to overcloud the light of the glory that's inside of you that I have placed in you for whom the Son has made free shall be free indeed to declare the goodness and the truth and the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against you, your body, your mind, your personal life shall be able to prosper. Gird up yourself with the word of truth and be not doubtful, but walk in faith and be courageous. Repel the darkness with the glory that I have placed inside of you the Holy Ghost that's inside of you for whom the Son has made free shall be free indeed to do and to declare and to say what God has said and to show what God has done Amen children Jehovah Rapha is in this house today I'm here to heal to bless to make whole to bring forth into that destiny that I've called you to not only to heal your body but to heal your soul to heal your mind to heal your emotions to heal those things that have kept you back I'm bringing you forth my people I'm bringing you forth and you will not be recognized in days to come. Who is she? She's bold as a lion. She's awesome, saith the Lord. You shall come forth. You shall come forth in my might and in my power, saith God. For this is a house of miracles. This is a house of healing. This is a house where my will is done. This is a house where the glory of God shall shine. This is a house where I break forth with praise and with awesome glory. This is my house, saith God. I have put my hand upon this house, saith God. And it will not, it will not weaken. It will come forth in strength and in might and in power. And you shall be changed into my image, saith God. You shall be changed and be bold. You shall go forth and out of this place. And you shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. You shall lay hands on those that are deaf and they shall hear. You shall lay hands on the blind and they will see. This is my house. You are my people. You are coming forth, saith God. For I am in this house this day, saith the Lord. So be it, be it done to me. Hallelujah. I know it's not a word used in our common vernacular, but it is a Bible word. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so while you're standing, going to ask you to greet a couple of folks and look them right in the face and tell them amen and then have a seat. Healing for your soul 
healing for your mind if you're heavy laden there's peace in these troubled times yes jesus he's the rock we run to amen he sustains us he strengthens us he watches over us he blesses us Thank you, Lord. We give you glory today. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you today to Faith Landmarks if you're here for the first time. If you lift our hands, our service attendants would like to give you a Connect card. It's just a record of your visit to let us know you were here today. And you can fill that out as much information as you like. Drop it in our offering bucket. Also, we want to invite you to our Connections room right after the service. There'll be people to greet you, answer questions, help you in any way, uh, sign up for events that are coming up. So thank you for joining us. Those of you online, welcome to our service this morning. And I believe there's healing in your house today. Amen. We send it out in the airwaves. Thank you, Lord. You know, Jesus could send his word to some other location and healing occurred. So we believe that if you're believing God for healing in your heart, your mind, your body, it's yours today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So we want to encourage you to sign up on our website, faithlandmarks.org. Um, that, that way you'll be uh, uh, able to uh, be aware of every special meetings, events that are going on. Uh, we have a, a, members, a new members class that you can take online, join the church. We've had people join from all over the country and around the world through our new members class online. Online. But today, right after this service, we have a new members class uh, in the Hall of Miracles. So if you are praying about joining the church, putting your hand to the plow, uh, coming under the prayer covering, I encourage you in the strongest way to go on up there and meet some folks and get connected. Amen. All right. And also on our website, uh, you can become a worker in the church. Uh, there's applications online, but also those of you in the room, we have applications out on the tables. There's so many places where you can serve the Lord. You know, we don't, if, if one hour a week is our, and it's sometimes not even an hour because sometimes everybody's late getting here. But anyway, if, if one hour a week is your service, Check your, check your commitment, check your heart to the Lord because he wants all of, he wants us to surrender all. I love this story as someone told me where they preached the gospel to the Native American Indians out, out West and they kept preaching about give, give, give to the Lord. And so finally, uh, you know, after a week of meetings, the last night the, uh, the, the preacher came in and uh, the Indian chief was sitting on his saddle. He'd given his blanket. He'd given his saddle. He'd given all this stuff. And finally, he, he was sitting on his pile. And he gave himself. Hallelujah. And that's really what God is looking for. He's looking for our hearts, right? Okay, so you can become a worker in the church. I didn't mean to start preaching. But it's a very important that you understand why. Why? It's, it's about you and your relationship with God. So you need to hear from him. Amen. Also, we've got a career tab online and uh, we have many job openings, full-time positions, great benefits, and the Holy Ghost place to work. So if you're looking for another job, check out our career tab. Um, there's probably information out there online. But if you visit faithlandmarks.org and go to the career tab, you'll see the list of the positions available. All right, now let's see. Bible reading sheets. We're just in the sort of the beginning of the month. Fat in the fire. If you don't have one of these and you'd like to just get to know what God has to say in his word and apply it in your life, you should be reading this. We have them online and we have them on the table so you can pick those up. Now we're in our season of blessing to our, our uh, area and so we're starting, you know, we, I'll be talking about just the details in a minute, but our Christmas uh, blessing program. And so if you would like to give in the offering today and you need an envelope for either cash or credit card giving and or designating other on the envelope, uh, please lift your hands and the service attendants will give you an envelope. You can also give by text or uh, online giving. So that's always available to you. Amen. 
All right. Now, ladies fellowship, we have, as far as I know, three seats left for our trip uh, to Lancaster for the Christmas trip with uh, the play Daniel. I can't wait to see how they're going to have him in the lion's den. But anyway, we have three seats, so if you'd like to come, you can join up with us. Our life lessons are continuing uh, today at 1 o'clock in the youth building from 1 to 2. It's on finances and uh, budgeting, so financial success and budgeting, by the way. We have other sessions coming up, but it's three the sessions are free, and you're invited to come. It'll be a real blessing to you. Now, we have a wonderful event coming up called FLM Friendsgiving. And so we're inviting those of you and anyone that you know that you'd like to bring, invite to come. Remember, we want to reach the unreached. We're not into church hopping people or calling people out of the church to go somewhere else. We're talking about reaching people that don't go to church, that don't know the Lord. You can invite them to Friendsgiving, and we're going to provide a whole meal, and all we're going to do is ask you turkey dinner, whole, the whole shebang, a whole Thanksgiving dinner, but we need to know you're coming, so we need you to RSVP at faithlandmarks.org slash registrations. Now, also for this event, we're just believing God's going to bring a lot of people to be blessed and to fellowship and, and talk about the things we have to be thankful for. Sometimes we forget that we have so much to be thankful for, but we are going to need some help. So if you would like to participate in helping set the tables, serve any of those types of things, please sign up at that same spot on the website so we, can, we know we've got your help coming. Now, our service attendants also have some information on our Royal Rangers Citrus Fundraiser. This is going to help the Royal Rangers with their campouts, with their leadership uh, camps, uniforms, camping supplies. You know, we have a lot of kids who come here who can't get the uniforms. They can't afford them. But through this program, you're going to help the, all the boys have uniforms and badges. And plus, it's a blessing to you or a good Christmas gift for someone. And the fruit will arrive the second week of December. So you can um, get this. You can, I think they said you can register. You can do that out at the table, order your uh, citrus, or go on Realm as well. But the Rangers will be out there at their table. Now, Marriage Fellowship are hosting a Jeopardy game night. And that's this Friday night in the youth building starting at 7 o'clock. So we're just asking you to bring some food to share, and we're going to supply the drinks, and I know you're going to have a great time as well. So also, we're very excited to announce our marriage retreat, which we haven't had one in at least 10 years. And so we're going to go to the Kings Mill Resort in Williamsburg, and uh, it's going to be very special starting on Thursday night, the 13th. Valentine's dinner Friday night at the Kings Mill Resort. There's a couple of breakfasts, I believe, and um, through Saturday. And David... And Nikki Winston, this is Bill Winston's son, and his wife are going to come and bring messages to us. So I know that's going to be wonderful. You know who Bill Winston is, right? If you don't know, that's all right. You know, his son is stepping up and moving out and moving in. So we're going to have a good time. And what a wonderful way to spend the Valentine's with your sweetheart. Now, you're, it's all right for you and those of you online it's all right for you to invite people to come. So um, we want to bless as many people and marriages as we can. All right, our Thanksgiving blessing is going to be distributed on November the 25th. So we're going to need help at 9 a.m. to sort and pack the food. And then at 11, we're going to ask people to come and help us deliver the food. You guys that have been here for a while know about this. Your tithes and offerings pay for this Thanksgiving blessing. Praise the Lord. So just know where you're giving is helping to bless other people. And we don't take up a special offering for this. This comes out of the tithes and offerings. So um, I'm not sure. We don't have a number of the families as our goal yet, but uh, we will need your help to put the meals together. Now, our Faith Landmarks uh, Christmas blessing is also why I mentioned the envelope. We're sponsoring 300 children this year, and we're asking for a donation of $25 per child 
uh, to give them a special Christmas blessing for that. Otherwise, they might not have a gift for Christmas. And so we have 300 children, but we're also giving a Christmas dinner that we, the tithes and offerings pay for that. The $25 just for the kids. But um, if you want to participate, you can do it online or on the envelope or text as well. All right. And I believe all our needs are met. How about you? Amen. All right, Faith Landmark's paintball. We have a paintball arena. Amen. And Sue Manahan, who's always working on sports things to draw people in, to win people to Christ, she's very excited about the paintball arena. But we need some people who are willing to uh, officiate. Um, you know, I think you probably have to wear a plastic suit or something. I don't I I've never seen paintball, but it, uh, they show that picture of a, uh, so you could look like that. But if you like to officiate, please come and join us. It's going to be a blast for those that are joining. Also, music ministry auditions are going to take place November 14th at 6 p.m. in the sanctuary. If you play an instrument, if you love to worship, we invite you to come uh, for the auditions right here in the sanctuary. And we'll be here to meet you. And lastly, we uh, highlight a department of the month. That's one of the reasons why we talk about becoming a worker so you, and make you aware of ministries that are going on in the church. So this month is the Singles Fellowship Ministry. We have a video to show you, and then Alicia is going to come up and share a little more with us. The Singles Fellowship is a growing department for ages 30 to 60 years old. Our purpose is to provide multiple opportunities throughout the year to help build healthy relationships within the body of Christ. We accomplish this not only through our events for specific age groups, but also by coming together as singles for a great time of fellowship. Our team works behind the scenes to come up with new and exciting events, but we need your help as well. If you know about any events going on in the Richmond area that would be good for a singles event, just let us know by emailing us at info at faithlandmarks.org. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you at our next event. Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> That's awesome. My name is Alicia, and I am the department head for the Singles Ministry. And as the video stated before, we are um, serving, serving people from 30 to 60 years of age. And we do have, most of our events are for everyone, but we do have sometimes have like specified events for like a certain age group because we really want to hear from you. This is a big body. I mean, we had a lot of members, and we want to know every single one of you in the best way that we can and serve you the best way that we can. So when those um, events are coming up, we are encouraging you to, you know, you know, plug in, you know, check us out, show up, and kind of talk to us, have a discussion about the things that you want to do around town. Um, the Bible says, he who wants friends must first be friendly. Good Christian, amen. <laughs> Good Christian relationships are an integral part of the body, building connections that support where you are now. In the same way that the marrieds get together and they're supporting each other and things like that, being single doesn't mean that you have to walk your Christian, you know, walk by yourself. There are other members here who have, have shared experiences or stories that are, um, are helpful to you. I, one of our events that we had, actually, there was like a whole ministry moment. There was a brother that was kind of going through something and someone that happened to be there was a part of the men's department and he was ministering to him. So this is not just, you know, us getting together and poking around trying to, you know, make this some other thing. This is Christians connecting with Christians and we deserve to, you know, you know see each other, amen? Amen. amen? amen. Plus, every time we get together, we always have a good time. So there's that too. Um, we host, again, events all throughout the year. Where do we need support? Planning ideas, okay? We need dates of events and happenings in Richmond. We like to have fun and try out new things. This information must be sent well in advance and date friendly. Um, please send to info at faithlandmarks.org. We also need event hosts. So that's more so of a thing of like, if you have knowledge of a space where like a whole bunch of us can get together and have a good time for like a game night or tailgate party or a cooking class or something fun, then we're asking for people that, you know, have that kind of information to contact us as well. Or if it's your own home, we had a game night at someone's house. That was fantastic. Though we didn't, I mean, the set time was nine o'clock and I don't think anyone left till about like close to 11. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's the kind of situation that it is. Everyone is loving on each other, fellowshipping with one another. And again, building those um, connections that are so necessary for the Christian walk. Amen. And lastly, we need friendly people passing the word about the group and inviting others. There are some events next year that we're looking forward to and they're downtown or close to the river or various spots in Richmond. 
We can't wait to meet you and welcome you, and thank you for listening. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you, Alicia. That's awesome. I believe we're going to end. Also, big thing, and I don't know if you mentioned it, you might have, invite people to these events. Remember, we want to reach out. Everything we do is for the purpose of fellowship for us, building one another up, but also reaching out. Because just think about all the people who are facing troubled times, who don't have the strength of a faith in the Lord, and you can help connect them. How easy is that? So let's hope that you will get involved in inviting folks. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay, I'm going to ask you, if you would, please stand to your feet. Glory to the King. It is wonderful to be here today. Just go ahead and bless the Lord. Let him bless you back. Okay, I'm going to send you on a little mission uh, momentarily. I ask you to find about five people that you have not yet greeted today, tell them, I'm glad you're here, and then have a seat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Great to be here today. You know, this is uh, our celebration day, actually, even though we're a day early, for Veterans Day. Yeah, now, let me tell you a little bit about this. We started many years ago. It took a while to get to the place where we convinced all of the people that we wanted to honor to wear their uniforms to church. Okay, so I believe that we can get it going uh, quicker this time around. This is our post-COVID restoration period. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, you know, not only is it honoring people that have fallen in service, but it's also, uh, for us, it's a matter also of honoring all the people that are currently serving. So all of our police officers, anybody in active service duty, uh, anybody that is involved in EMS service or anything of that nature, just if you would please stand to your feet, we want to thank God for you. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're not ashamed. We're not going to hide things. Glory to God. God is good. Okay, so we have another uh, great thing here. Our uh, soul's goal has really uh, topped out. It's not over yet, but watch this. So we ended up last time at 96, 97. Hallelujah. So, uh, you know, that's going to top out at the end of this year. We'll have a final count, and uh, then we're going to reset the goal to go over this year, which means next year we're going to have to do some high stepping. <laughs> Not only uh, local events that we do, local things that we do, but also overseas. So if you would like to go, we just got back from Vietnam. If you would like to go on one of these overseas trips, uh, you need to uh, pay attention and get registered to go. Amen. Glory to God. In the interest of that, uh, we want to make sure that you have uh, an offering uh, envelope available to you. Now, this is obviously not the only way that you can give in this church while you're filling that out, I want to tell you a little testimony. I got a letter last week, and we get these letters from all over the world, actually, uh, that come here. But uh, there was a sister who was in this church back in the late 90s, I believe it was. And she left for a job out in the Midwest, and she, uh, like telling her story, she went from place to place for years, but always followed us online. She felt like she had always been a part of this church. Praise the Lord. And then so she said, I made a building commitment that I never fulfilled. And so she said, I've been looking for you and a way to go about doing this. And so she sent us the check 
to fulfill her building commitment, which tells me, you know, it, it, what happens with people is they get blessed with abundance, but then, uh, you know, you're, you're like this church body. You had to find a place to put it that God has blessed because we're not greedy. I'm not. How about you? I'm blessed, but I'm not greedy. There is a difference. Praise the Lord. Okay, so uh, you might have uh, your offering in your hand. Uh, maybe this is the first time you've done this, but I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet, if you would, with your offering in your hand, whatever form it may be in. Just hold it up before the Lord and say this with me. Heavenly Father, you have opened the windows of heaven over our heads. You're pouring out abundance into our lives even as we speak. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing and receiving this offering of tithes and offerings into the kingdom Thank you, Heavenly Father, for pouring out abundance into our lives as we act on your word by faith. In Jesus' name, amen.